What's up guys and welcome to the start of a brand new series here on the channel. This my friends is MLB The Show 17 and uh, today we're going to be starting up our second series on this game. So we already started our road to the show with the shortstop. It's a lot of fun so far. Holy cow, what an exciting start to our season. If you guys haven't seen those episodes, make sure you guys go check them out. But uh, something I definitely want to do is also do a pitcher. So, I mean, having a shortstop as you're playing, having a pitcher as your player are entirely different, you know, kind of like experiences. And I want to experience both because both are fun. So, for right now, you guys know we uploaded shortstop earlier today. We're going to do a couple pitcher episodes as well. And probably over the next couple of days, we'll do one of each every day. Eventually, we'll probably flip flop where like Monday we do shortstop, Tuesday we do pitcher, Wednesday we do shortstop, and just kind of go back and forth. But uh, since the game's new and technically not even out yet, thanks, Sony then uh, definitely wanted to uh, to show you guys both. So here we go. We are going to start off a brand new road to the show. We're going to go with current rosters, and we are going to go into a custom player. So we've already kind of been through this, but uh, we're going to make this guy a little bit different, just to make it exciting. So we're going to... Ooh, we've got we've to select three pitches here. Obviously, four-seam fastball is crucial. I like the knuckleball a lot as well, and then I'm thinking... I'm thinking maybe a curve. A tw how about a 12-6 a curve for a third pitch? Uh, break is going to be one of our biggest things. Control and then velocity. Make I don't even know what makeup is. I'm going to go... Hmm. This, this last flex point's a tough one. I'm going to go for break, dude. All right, we're going to be a West Coastie this time. Like I said, we're going to switch it up. So our first guy, clean cut, looks like us, like super humble and, and nice to people and stuff like that. We're probably going to be a little bit more flashy here with this guy. We're still going to make him... Uh, actually, should we change up his name? I'm looking up the 25 funniest names in baseball right now. Urban Shocker, Johnny Dickshot, Chicken Wolf, Beer, Cal McLish, Coco, Coco Crisp. That's kind of funny. Dick Pole, Timmy Spoonie Barger, Boof Bonzer, Ed Head, Shooty Babbitt, 10 million, Cannonball Titcomb. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna combine two of those. I'm gonna go with Coco. Coco Titcomb. T-I-T-C-O-M-B. And it looks like we we left the first for Coco Tico. Oh, dude, I don't know what I'm doing. Um, we definitely aren't going to be able to find that in the, uh, the what's it called, will we? The audio files. Ah, they aren't even going to be able to say our name, man. They have Coco. No way. They are going to have Tico, so I'm just going to leave it at Coco. All right, so we're going to make this guy... Um... I guess a 12. That looks good. Throwing, batting from right. He's from California. Looks good to me. Let's change up his physical appearance. So I'm going to make him... I don't know. I'm, I'm thinking, like, as a California kid, he's going to be tan, and he's going to have, like, long blonde hair. And just, you know what I mean? 74 inches is good. Probably lower the weight, like 185, something like that. Buff, neck size medium. Shoulders and collarbone. Let's get those shoulders up a little bit. We've already been through most of this, so I'm, I'm not going to change too much. Hairstyle. Let's change up his hair color. I'm going to go with the blondes. Should we have some sideburns, too? We'll have some sideburns. Facial hair. What do you guys think? Oh, man. We've got six pages of styles to go through. Holy cow. Oh, my God. <gasps> Are you kidding me? I feel like the facial hair isn't really gonna look good with the blonde hair though, because you don't want blonde facial hair. That just looks weird. So we're gonna we're gonna leave that at that. Skin complexion. I don't need any freckles or anything. Fat. Definitely don't want to be fat. Raise those cheekbones up a little bit. Eye color. What do you guys think? Should we? Go with another blue, looks good to me. I scale, I detail, nice, looks good, looks good, looks good. Like I said, not gonna do too much. Definitely wanna take down the double chin and give him, 
give him some, oh, we don't want protrusion, we want jaw size. Definitely want a nice, healthy, healthy, good looking jaw. Mouth, neck. Where do we change our hair? Oh, right here. We need to change our style. What do you guys think? Should we go with the, <laughs> the ridiculous one? Tick comb, dude, I can't get over it. Should we go with the curly mohawk? Just the plain, I say we go with the plain swoopy top. That looks, that looks California-ish. We gotta change our eyebrows though. Definitely make those a bit lighter. Looks good, brow bend, shape position. I don't even know what outer flesh does. Okay, that's not bad. Looks good to me, motion and sounds, equipment. All right, uniform. I'm gonna go through and do this real quick. We've already done this, so I guess I'll, I'll keep you guys, I'll keep you guys with me, it's all right. It's not gonna take that long. Glove, keep that the same. Bat. The black bat looks pretty cool. Maybe the red handle or maroon, we'll go with red. That looks pretty sick. Batting gloves. We go with just one. I only like one. Hat and helmet. Helmet style. Definitely want the ventilated. This isn't really going to matter that much because I doubt we'll be hitting much. I guess it kind of depends on which league we go to. But um, got that. Sleeves and tape. We'll do double sleeves. Eyewear. We'll do both. <laughs> These are ridiculous, man. All right. That looks good. Frame color. Definitely gonna go with black. Men's color, go with black. Cleats, catcher gear, doesn't really matter. Um, I mean, what's the point in having long hair if you're gonna have a hat on the entire time, you know what I mean? I was trying to look to, to take the hat off, but I guess it, it doesn't matter. All right, anyway, looks good to me. Our guy is created. We are looking great, looking fabulous. And um, it's time for Coco Titcomb to hit the evaluation. After a lonely wait, a pitching prospect is called for his turn to take the mound. A coach tries to settle and focus him, laying out simple instructions. All right, here we go, guys. So uh, pitching coach Thomas says, scouts are judging your velocity, command, and movement of your pitches. Warm up and the practice The player up. knows his whole day comes down to just the next few minutes. Many eyes are on him. All he can do is try to make each pitch count. Many eyes are on us, just try to make each pitch count. All right. It's been a while since we've pitched, so we want to make sure that we are right on the money here. That knuckle has a lot of movement on it, man. Should definitely stick with the fastball if we want accuracy, though. There we go. That looks good. You guys ready for this? Let's go ahead and start our evaluation. Four-seam fastball. Oh, no. I I let go of that one there. Oops. Okay, we're okay. Of course, that was the easiest pitch of them all, too, right down the middle. I let go of the analog stick. I forgot what you're supposed to do. Beautiful. We're making it work for us. That one was on the outside. It's all right, though. Knuckleball time. It's wild, child. Holy cow. Look at the movement on that. Got the outside ring. That's all that matters. As long as we're somewhere on it. Oh, that's gonna be off. Oh, we got an outside ring, okay. Inside ring looks good. 12-6 curve, let's see what we're looking here. I mean, we're staying pretty consistent. It's not easy to hit the, the target every time. Oh, that was a beaut. What, how did we not have the bullseye there? 
the outside. I mean, we've hit it pretty much every time except for that one where I accidentally let go of the analog stick. Oh, and that one too. All right. So overall, that went pretty well. I'm not gonna lie. That was when pretty it's good. Over, some scouts come down to make personal contact with a player of interest. This is a marketplace, and though the day's action is over, product inspection and analysis continue. All right. So, Coco, I'm Roger Banks, the MLB Scouting Bureau. Thanks for coming out today. You may, uh, you, you may have really done yourself a favor with the outing you had. I hope so, just doing what I do. Thanks for saying so. You're welcome. <laughs> I expect you caught the eye of a number of clubs. Best of luck going forward. Same to you, baseball scout guy. Might not need it, but I'll take it all the same. I appreciate it. Thank you. That's just obscenely rude, so we're going to go with this. All right. Coco Titcomb. Look at that, guys. We are above average. We're average or above average on everything. 7.6, 60-yard dash. All right, I'll take it. A promising young baseball talent receives a call from his former high school coach, who has assumed an advisory role until the player sees fit to take on a sports agent. <laughs> all right. Coco, now that you did all you could at the scout day, we need to decide what your next move is going to be. Hmm. In the aftermath of a scout day, players are anxious to learn what impact their performance may have made. Guess we'll see your scouting report will be released around the league. Surely I'm sure it's going to leak to the media as well. Uh, should I pay attention to that Modern media, media offers an unprecedented glut of feedback opportunities. Hard to miss these days. When you do see things written about you, good or bad, try to take them with a grain of salt. Let people talk. Haters gonna hate. But wisdom would suggest a young athlete focus on what is ahead, what is in his control. Whatever you do, just stay focused on taking care of your business. Uh, we're definitely gonna do the showcase games. All right, guys. Holy cow. I can't believe how bad our showcase games went as our shortstop. Hopefully they go significantly better as our pitcher. I don't think they could get any worse. So let's go ahead and get this started. The Top Sandwich Showcase is an opportunity for you to put your skills on display for scouts from all 30 major league teams. All right, here we go, guys. So this is gonna be affecting our draft stock, and we've gotta have the best game possible. Central versus West, here we go. Let's see what we can do, fellas. Number Coco Ticko. California born right hander is on the mound. Harold, what do you got? Let's go, baby. Kind of sneaky. He's got that knuckleball in his repertoire. And it's All right. Not a full time knuckleball pitcher. Right. He'll show you a knuckleball Ewing. at different Rowling. times at different Woo. counts. A no, little bit outside. Out pitch. When you're down one, two, or maybe even a two, two count, he'll bust off a knuckleball and you're wondering where'd that come That's from? A little bit and low. Now this misses as well as he's behind the leadoff man this afternoon. Two and zero oh now. Yeehaw. And yes, there we go. Fastball in here to get the count two back one. to two and one. Two balls and a strike. Here it comes. Oh, and trying to paint there, the line there. It's not one. working. Corey Capel waits on deck. This catcher really Mind likes the fastballs. The oh, they hit on us. They hit on us first thing. It's okay, dude. We're we're getting into the swing of things. We're gonna be we're gonna be fine here. I'm not too worried. Is that Doctor Disrespect? First right offering on its way. Corey now a Capel. bunt attempt here. And good hustle to get over and tag him for the out. All right. Good play to the first baseman. Now to the plate, Ernesto Navarro. Let's give him a knuckleball. Breaking for third. Pitch is a cold Ernesto strike. The throw. Navarro. Not nearly in time as he takes This is scary, man. Do a knuckleball outside. Skied into straightaway right. Helm. Catch it. As a beat on it. He's there to make the catch, up. and here comes the runner from third, as this should get him on the Ah, oh, dude, we almost had it. It's okay. It's all right. First tally of the ball game. It's all right. They honestly played that really well. Batting fourth, the designated Victor Mota is in with two Mota. away as he takes a ball, one and zero. Oh. Clean slate on the base pass after that sack fly a minute ago. So now's the time to be ball aggressive there. with these hitters. Go right after them and try to get out of this inning with only one run score. And well, six curve, caught him chasing, good stuff. He's pulling inside fastball Ready by him to close it out. Swing and he pops him Straight up. up. Over toward foul territory. Nice catch. He's got it, and the side is retired. So All right. One run, one, hit. one run. I mean, it could be way worse. So digging in now, 
Oliver I'm gonna be Guerrero. He'll lead things off Jack here in the I wonder if we're gonna get a chance to hit. Oh, and he waves no at a curveball there. Now watch no this. Curveball, get him off balance. Hit him with the fastball, he won't and catch up with it. He's late on that. Ball. Fastball Looking down and in is where he wants it. Here's the 0-2. And that one stayed too low, apparently. On 0 and 2, you'll sometimes get a guy to chase a fastball out of the zone away yes! or up. Oh, he dropped it. Like that, it's much easier to lay off. Come on, man. You can tell the ball is moving further it's all away. Good, though. Got the strikeout anyway. It comes in. So striding in, Phil Adding Dark, six. center fielder. Phil in Dark. there, no balls in his strike. Pretty good. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. And Ooh. a pitch in the one dirt one. as he That one was off. way off. It's 1 and 1. Down the way. Down the way. Ha! And this is 2 and 1. Bases are empty, one man out. Up and in. He's fallen behind now. Ump, are you falling asleep at the wheel over here? Shut What's happening? Because that was clearly a strike. And this is foul. Clearly straight. a strike. Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. Hit on the ground to short. Easy outs. Cruz easy outs. There. Had to the work for that one a little bit, but gone. easy outs. Striding Dude, all these the guys look like Dr. Larson. <laughs> <laughs> they all look like Dr. Sheldon Disrespect. Yeah. Every single one of them. On the inside corner. They've got the mullet, strike one. the mustache, Set the sunglasses. The I guess bunt out in maybe Dr. Disrespect just looks like a baseball player. In time and the side it's kind of a so no thing, I guess. No no Alright, so we retired no the side there. Not too bad. Not too shabby, not too shabby. Let's see what now we can do play. here. Barry Freeman will step in to lead it off in the top of the Got third. Barry. In so there at the knees as he authors a strike to the leadoff man. So nothing low, 12-6 curve. Hit on the ground out to short. And that finds its he hit the gap. for a base hit. That's so okay. an inning opening All right, let's set him up for a nice uh, the third. nice double play. Into the box, Spencer Nothing McDonald. Nice. Showing bunt That's here, but he takes ball one. Well, I'm for on that These guys right are there. weird he about the bunt. The back, but now you know he's bunting. He tried to make him chase a pitch. Now I come back and throw him a strike and make him get Same thing down. again. Give you and you know he's going to steal third. Just tag him out along the first I'm going to pitch line. out here. Digging in to try it again. Huey Rowley. Huey Rowley. Pitch out. One Nothing no. doing. Ha <laughs> ha He doesn't want it. I'm throwing all fastballs though, because I still think he's going to try to steal. And he won't oh, bite at that back. one either. It's 2-0. Oh. That's a Dude, good think if we would have got him there, that would have been so awesome. You might not be too familiar with. Take a look at a few and see what he's got. got. It. Now he's got himself ahead. Oh, foul ball. Another it's okay. Second here with one man out. Two one. And this is nice. fouled at the plate. Now let's hit him with the super off speed knuckle ball. And again, he's unable keeping up to with keep it. it fair, but he's putting together quite a battle at the plate. Well, that's three foul balls in a row. He's definitely battling up there. Here's the pitch on two and two. Damn it, man. And he goes he to crushed the that. And knock it down, but it's Dude, round third, line. he's going to be home. Yikes. And the run's going to come into score from second as they grab a two to nothing lead now. Two to nothing lead. Striding in once again. I mean, you guys in. saw how bad our uh, one on here in the inning. Our showcase games were for for what's it called for our shortstop. They were awful, and then we came into the minors. And we just straight on one and one. gas people. On ground, it was awesome. Double play. Get out of the inning. I mean, we came in and we just destroyed it. So it's it's gonna be all right. It's not the best start ever. We're not doing awful. Is ready and he'll take the ball from the manager. But all right, Coco Tickcomb was relieved in the fourth inning. I guess that's not so bad. We ended up taking the L, but uh, that's all right. We've got one more showcase game to go, and then we got the draft, and then we're gonna see where our future is going to be. So uh, I'm going to see you guys in our next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace out.